Today, I have a dream, a goal, a passion of mine, something that will take in the neighborhood of 20 to 40 years for me to probably fully see this in action. This dream of mine, this goal of mine is to improve the reputation, confidence, and authority of minority families in the United States. And it all starts banking. What if, what if you and I could come together and create a cooperative opportunity where we come together in common unity with a common mission and a common goal, which is to improve the reputation, confidence, and authority of minority families in the United States, specifically targeting the financial health, the financial wealth of minority families across the United States. I myself was born into a minority family and I just have been given this dream, this this vision by my father in heaven. And he's like, you know, Denzel, what if, what if we built a bank together uh, in the world, but kingdom based, kingdom focus, and it would create an opportunity for lower income families to get past the debt chains that exist in the United States faster, more efficiently with optimization. And we can teach financial literacy, financial strategies, and education that would empower those families to make better financial decisions long-term. I myself, 28 years old, and Zell Napoleon Rodriguez have been blessed with wisdom and knowledge. And the goal of this YouTube channel is to pass that information and knowledge on to the next generation and to all those who would listen. So with that being said, I am going to dedicate my life to building the bank of Rodriguez. And it really starts with you. It starts with us. We, we have to improve ourselves first before I can go and serve others at scale. We have to improve our own financial foundation first, our faith first. It starts with you first, right? Then we can go outward externally and serve others again at scale. So what I'm thinking about doing is building the Bank of Rodriguez. Fargo's out there, Chase is out there, Morgan is out there. Why not Rodriguez, the Bank of Rodriguez? Why not? It's possible. In fact, I'm doing it right now, just on a very, very, very small scale. In my own household, I've established four banking systems. Two in my, three in my name, right? Two on myself, one on my mother, and one on my fiance. And the goal is to establish our own banking system in our own household economy to recapture interest, to recapture financing costs, recapture expenses, recapture as much wealth as we can and have that money rotate in our own economy multiple times over and over and over again before it actually leaves the economy. So with that being said, we're going to take this to the whiteboard so that I can Take these thoughts, put it on the whiteboard, get your feedback and insight on this. I want your help. I want your comments. I want your support. And you tell me if I'm on to something here or if I'm just crazy in the head, right? So let's take a look at this. The Bank of Rodriguez, phase one. My goal is to be able to offer micro loans and small business loans to minority families. And the way those families would repay that loan back to the Bank of Rodriguez, I'm going to be using a flat rate fee model instead of an amortization model or a simple interest daily compounding model, which is how most loans work. There is a big difference between a flat interest rate, flat interest rate, and an amortized rate if we're looking at the same number. There's a big difference between a flat rate and a simple interest rate if we're looking at the same number the same rate. You have a 5% amortized rate versus a 5% simple interest rate versus a 5% flat rate. The 5% flat rate will be a lesser cost on the entirety of the loan. This right here will dramatically recapture wealth in the minority household. And so again, this is where my mind is going. And it's like, okay, how, how do we recapture dollars in the economy that we're losing in minority households today? There's billions, there's trillions of dollars being lost just from financing costs alone in our own economies, which is insane to think of. So in phase one, the people I'm going to serve, this is going to be based off of your name, right? This has nothing to do. Other metrics that are used in society today to qualify someone like a credit score, this is going to be purely based off of your name to start out. This is what I believe I could handle. And again, this is who I'm targeting, right? 
So I'm going after blood. It's all about the blood, your name. This is your reputation. So for your own name's sake, if your last name ends with Rodriguez, Andrade, Cardenas, Mendoza, or De La Rosa, these are all of the last names that I have in my household. So that's where I'm starting. So you might be a Rodriguez in Ohio or Miami, doesn't matter. You might be a Puerto Rican Rodriguez. You might be a Dominican Rodriguez. You might be a white Rodriguez. They exist. You might be a black Rodriguez. They exist, doesn't matter. Purely based off your name, the blood. Do you carry that bloodline of Rodriguez, Andrade, Mendoza, De La Rosa, Cardenas, right? These are the five names in phase one that I will be serving in Bank of Rodriguez. And essentially, if you qualify by having this last name, we, you would reach out, we'd have a conversation, tell me what you need. And these would be the first two things that I would be interested in helping these families in. Micro loans, small loans to either maybe pay something off like a, like a high interest credit card. Maybe they have a 29%, 26% credit card that's at $3,000 or $2,500 and they want to borrow from the Bank of Rodriguez at a, at a super low interest rate compared to their 29% and then have a much lower payment. Uh, and so they would be paying less interest and they would be able to pay off the debt faster, giving them more cash flow so that they can go on to the next thing. So it'd start with micro loans and small business loans. In phase two is where I would add onto the micro loans and small business loans is start doing like personal debt consolidation. So a little bit higher. So maybe someone has four or five credit cards totaling like 10, 15 grand. They wanna consolidate these. And this is gonna be vastly different from the way the world does debt consolidation. You see in the world, when you do debt consolidation, like a national debt relief or those debt consolidation companies that you hear on the radio or on the ads on, on YouTube and stuff or like SoFi and all these other consolidation loans when it comes to your student loans, when it comes to your credit cards, when it comes to your car loans, all this stuff. Usually there are high origination fees. The interest rate is amortized over a longer period of time. And they sometimes, they'll all, from what I know, they require you to actually destroy your credit in the process so that they can settle those debts and negotiate those debts for a lesser balance. That's where you would be saving the money or supposedly. There's no guarantee, number one. So your credit could completely tank in the process. And if you have decent income, those creditors might sue you or garnish your wages, right? So it is high risk. Whereas working with the Bank of Rodriguez, we would charge you a flat rate instead of a five, seven percent amortized rate on 10, 15, 20,000, in my mind, I'm just thinking about charging a flat interest rate. So say 10,000, you'd pay $1,000 back regardless of the length of the loan, right? And of course, those, there would be some boundaries, you know, you're not just gonna do a 30 year repayment and only have a, uh, a $1,000, you know, cost of that. It would probably be much shorter term. But the point is the cost would have been dramatically less if you would have amortized that or even had a simple interest rate. And again, in my mind, I'm thinking all negotiation. It's gonna be case by case. So if that person does have, let's say a low rate loan of two to 4%, we're gonna look at the total cost of that and compare it to what a flat rate would look like with the Bank of Rodriguez. And my promise would always be to charge you less than where you're currently at. Because the goal is for you to recapture cash flow faster, save money on interest, so that we can get free from these debt chains faster, more efficiently, and here's the other thing. You're a Rodriguez, I'm a Rodriguez in this scenario. You're an Andrade, in my household there's Andrades. You're a Mendoza, in my household there's a Mendoza. You're a De La Rosa, my household, you know, looking at my roots or whatever, I may or may not be a Rodriguez, right? My grandfather, uh, his last name originally was, was De La Rosa, but he was adopted into a Rodriguez family, and therefore I became a Rodriguez many, many years later. So there's all this, this history, so there's names, that, that, that we're given. And so if we share, you and I, let's just do Rodriguez for simplicity right now. Let's say you're Rodriguez, I'm a Rodriguez. By you doing business with me instead of Fargo or Morgan, you and I are able to rotate that money within the Rodriguez economy a more efficiently, more optimized way. And then because you do business with, with me once, you're likely to do business with me again. And what I'm thinking in my mind is I create a VIP system, uh, 
a, a client system, a, a growth system where it's like the first time the rate is this, and then maybe the second time the rate is this, and then the third time maybe the rate is this. And maybe there's rewards for bringing in another Rodriguez. If you bring in two more Rodriguez's, I'm going to cut your loan rate in half, right? Your, your, your cost in half by 30%, by 10%, create some kind of incentive to bring more Rodriguez, to rotate more of the wealth that the Rodriguez's have in the United States. Is this, is this, am I on to something? Let me know if I'm, or if I'm just in my own little world going crazy. So phase two would just be adding on more lending products. So the Bank of Rodriguez just does lending. That's all this is. That's the business model. We just lend onto nations, starting with the nation of Rodriguez. That's it. That's the model. We just lend money. We create a profit. We charge less than what the competitors charge. You're able to pay your debt off much faster, more efficiently with transparency. And on top of that, we're actually create, creating education, creating opportunities for you to create more wealth because this channel will serve as that. The only way you're ever going to find out about the Bank of Rodriguez is through this channel anyway, or collaborators that I, other content creators that would find out about this in, in the future, right? So then phase three would add friends and family. So let's say you're a Rodriguez, but you married a George, right? A Thomas. Whoever your family is, whoever your friends are, would get invited. So this would be an invite. Another way of getting to Bank of Rodriguez is by invitation or by blood. So you can be adopted into the kingdom, into the family, right? So there's an adoption process or there's a blood process. Either you're of the blood or you're not. If you're of the blood, great. If you're not of the blood, great. You can actually be adopted into the family, right? And this is how my father works in heaven. So phase three, friends and family, car loans. We'll add car loans into this. And we're going to add primary residence down payment. So if you you know, need help coming up with the funds for the down payment of a, of a property, this would be an option. So essentially, I'm thinking of all of the different financing things that, that people do, right? To finance lifestyle purchases, cars, houses, maybe student loans, uh, all the credit cards and stuff. So instead of borrowing from them, Fargo, Morgan, Chase, Bank of America and all that, you borrow from Bank of Rodriguez at a much lower rate. And not only are you, you're getting out of debt faster, but it's optimized. Better payment structures, better, better costs overall, and full transparency. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm going to show you exactly what it costs for the Bank of Rodriguez to lend $1. So you're just going to know how much, how, how Bank of Rodriguez is profiting from the blood, from the family. And you're actually going to have pride in this and confidence and authority because you know that if you participate and you bring two to three more Rodriguez's in the process, two to three more Andrade's, two to three more Mendoza's or De La Rosa's, right, into the mix, well, now you're helping the next family. So you're actually, you want this to be successful. You want this to be profitable so that they now have an alternative as to how they're going to finance these different things to get through their life and make their life more efficient. So this is, this is the math. For every dollar Bank of Rodriguez lends out, it costs Rodriguez five to six cents on the dollar. So the only thing I would be doing is charging double that, 10 to 12 cents to cover maintenance costs, to cover admin to cover the cost to borrow in the first place and to have profit so that there's more money to lend to more people to lend to more rodriguez's in the process because if i can only lend to five families right how do i scale that i need to be able to create a profitable system so this is actually a very very tight margin tight it'll expand there'll be other things that i'm thinking of or i'll get ideas from you as to how to make this work but essentially I would be charging 10 to 12 cents on the dollar flat. So if I lent you $5,000, you're simply gonna pay 10 to 12% back flat. And then we would set up a negotiation in terms of how long we wanna set those repayments. So that's another thing is there's gonna be flexible negotiation where you say, okay, I wanna pay this back in 15 months, in 18 months, in 21 months, in 24 months. And maybe the longer we go, maybe the, the flat rate goes a little bit higher. And then the other thing we're gonna do uh, is to have an annual like admin fee and it'll probably be like a percentage of the loan amount, the initial loan amount, again, flat. So say it's, I lend $10,000 and 1%, say a hundred bucks, right? So it'd be an annual admin fee of a hundred dollars if it takes you three years to pay it back, you paid you paid three hundred dollars in admin fee, and you paid say a thousand dollars. So you paid one thousand three hundred dollars in interest on 
10 grand. If you were to borrow that kind of money from a credit card at 29%, 26%, or did a lending club loan for five years at 10% amortized, that number would be way more than $1,300, right? Or, or a car loan, right? So you pay way more than $1,300. And obviously if we went with Bank of Rodriguez and you paid it in one year instead of, instead of the three years, well then you save on the admin fee, all right? You wouldn't pay that, so you save on that, right? So again, this is a full transparency showing you exactly what it costs me to lend out a dollar and how much I would need back to cover my costs and have a profit so that I can lend again to the next family, to the next family, to the next family. The margins in terms of the, the, the competitor is gonna be insane looking at this model right here. Insane the amount of interest that a Rodriguez family out there would save. That's recaptured cash flow that they weren't even accounting for. And now they're gonna have that cash flow to make the next move. They come back to Bank of Rodriguez and say, okay, now that we've done business once together successfully, now maybe I can shrink it and charge a nine cent flat rate on the dollar instead of 10 cents. Or if it was 12, then bring it down to 11, bring it down to 10 each and every time until I just bring it down to, to literally cover my cost to borrow. Like that's it with like a small, small, tight, little profitable margin there right? is what I'm thinking uh, to create that VIP type of a, a service. So they keep coming back. The money keeps rotating within the, within the economy of these minority families. And then over time we build and expand these minority families. Okay. We're going to add the Mendez family now. Okay. We're going to add this family. We're going to, we're going to go through all the names, right? In the minority communities, we're going to go through all of them and create this this economy right this ecosystem where again this would improve the reputation of minority families because you're going to have more confidence this is going to create financial freedom faster by simply recapturing financing costs and then we're going to help expand kingdom financial system we're going to teach financial literacy that's what this channel does going to teach financial literacy we're going to help you get out of debt faster right there's still a world where we may use the banking systems out there like credit cards and PLOCs and HELOCs and business lines of credit we will still have access to those but we're going to be in a more a stronger position now we're not begging the bank because i can just go to bank of rodriguez instead of you all right so this gives us an upper hand in the economy we're able to get to where we need to get to faster so this was just my idea again i'm gonna take it to the whiteboard just so you can see again what, what my thoughts are and i'm gonna curate this Again, I want your comments. I want your feedback. Uh, maybe for my clients listening, we can jump on calls and, and figure this out together. But I'm literally going to dedicate the next 25 to 40 years to this right here. I've already spent from 2018 to 2024 now as I'm recording this video in March of 2024. I've been building the Bank of Rodriguez for my own economy, my own household. And I'm recapturing financing costs. I'm recapturing lost interest i'm preserving cash flow tax-free compounded guaranteed in a safe liquid location i'm using whole life insurance to do these things and then i'm going to build it so strong that i can now look back reach out a hand and say let's go let's go take over the world let's go let's go conquer your own world let's 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 have control let's have authority and move forward so my name is denzel rodriguez your personal finance geek of the 21st century you can click the link below to book a call with me one-to-one -one and go over your personal finances. And maybe you want to do this. Maybe you want to build a bank. Because here's the other thing. If there's a multitude of banks, then we can create a, like a coalition of banks. We can create a, an, an allyship where it's like, oh, I'm, I'm tapped out right now. I'm already lending to seven families. Well, I got Bank of Mendoza over here and Bank of Andrade over here. They can lend to 10 families, five families and bring them into the fold. And again, we're, we're rotating dollars over and over and over again. We, if, we, if you study other cultures, you study immigrants that come to the United States, you study Asians, you study Jews, like you're, you're gonna see them doing this, okay? Well, Puerto Ricans, Colombians, Blacks, like we can wake up and we can do this for ourselves so that we can compete in the marketplace more effectively, more efficiently, and just make smarter financial moves and then collaborate with the greats, collaborate with other folks, right? again so that we're not slacking over here right we're getting in the room we're getting invited into the room and then we're able to have a voice in these different rooms where the real moves are happening again so my name is denzel have a wonderful day god bless and we'll be talking soon